Hi everyone, welcome to another Creative Suite online tutorial. In this lesson I'll be teaching you guys how to create a counting device in Adobe Flash CS6. So what I have in front of me is basically what we are going to try and create in this video tutorial. As you can see there are two buttons present, one that says press me and the other that says reset. Now if I click on the press me button you'll see that the counter increases by one. If I do it again, it'll increase by one, and so forth. So basically, if I keep clicking the press me button, it increases by one in quick succession. If I hit the reset button, it'll go back to zero, or the counter will go back to zero, and then I can start clicking again. So this is what we are going to try and create in this video tutorial. Let's exit that. Let's go to file new I want to select an action script 2.0 or action script 2 I'll click OK and the first thing I want to select is the text tool so I'll click on the text tool I'll go to properties where it says text type I'll have it set as dynamic text Once that's done, I'll go to Embed. I'll select Numerals, and I'll click this plus sign right there. I'll click OK, and then I will create a placeholder. So I'll just type in the, uh, the numeral 0, or the number 0. I'll increase the size of that, so I'll type in 45 like so and that will be our placeholder now once you've created your placeholder you want to go back to properties and where it says variable you want to type in counter so you want to have your variable set for the placeholder as counter once you've done that let's go ahead and let's start creating our buttons so I'll go over to the rectangle tool I'll go to the color palette and I'll select this color right there. I will create a rectangle on the canvas page like so. And once you've done that, I will then go to the text tool. I'll change the color to white so you can see it. And then I'll create the text press me. I'll change the size of that to 20 like so and I will select the text type for that press me text as static text so for the counter I'll have that text set as dynamic for the text within the buttons I'll have that set as static just like that just like that so once you've done that Let's highlight both of those, right click, and let's convert that into a symbol. I'll name it button, I'll name the symbol as button, I'll have the type as button, and I'll set the registration to the center. I'll click OK. Once you've done that, let's create our reset button. So I'll, again, I'll go over to the rectangle tool. I'll go to the color and I'll select a different color this time. So I'll select this pinkish color, just like that. I will then go to the text tool again. This time I will hit reset or I will type in the word reset. I will change the color of that reset to a white color so we can see that once it's been backdropped onto our button, like so. And then I will highlight the button and the text. I will right click and convert that into a symbol. I will call that symbol reset set the type as button 
and set the registration to the center. I'll click OK. So once you've finished creating your buttons and your placeholder, let's go ahead and add some action script code. So go into your timeline and click on the first keyframe. Go to actions and type in the following code. So type in var or var, short for variable, counter, colon, number, equals new number open close bracket semicolon counter equals zero semicolon just like that. So once you've done that, let's click on your press me button. Let's go to actions in there and let's add in the following action script code. So I'll type in on open bracket press close bracket open parenthesis counter plus sign plus sign semicolon close parenthesis just like that and then once you've done that I'll click on the reset button I'll go into action scripts and I'll type in the following code so on open bracket press close bracket open parenthesis counter equals zero semicolon close parenthesis just like that. And if you didn't get that code, I will be placing the entire code in the description box. So don't, you know, don't worry if you didn't get all of that. So once you've done that, it's just a simple case of clicking, uh, hitting control and enter. So if I hit the press me button, as you can see, the counter is increased by one. Just like, um, just like I showed you in the example earlier on. And if I hit the reset button, the counter goes back to zero. So yeah, um, I hope you like this tutorial. Um, like I said, if you didn't get all of that action script code, I will be placing the entire code in the description box. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Please like my video, comment in the comment section, and please subscribe to my channels. More tutorials will be coming up. And Again, thanks for watching.